Hi everyone, it's Michelle from Bella Branch DIY and thanks for coming back over to the channel to watch some DIYs. Today I have a really cool DIY. It's actually something I've never done before. I'm gonna be working with a laser and which is also a cutter. It's an X-Tool M1, which is what I have. And we're gonna make some fall projects. You guys ready? Let's go. Project number one is a cute Hello Pumpkin bag, which is perfect for the farmer's market to hold all your cute little pumpkins or flowers in there. First thing we're gonna do is clean the bottom of our X-Tool M1, just in case there's any residue. Our first project, we're gonna be using some vinyl transfer. So we're gonna take this sticky mat and remove the plastic on both sides. And you're gonna to wanna to place your vinyl upside down so the color is facing downwards. Now let's set this project up. First thing you'll do is go into the X-Tool Creative Space. And this is showing the inside of our laser and cutter. Let me do this just to refresh it to make sure it's all connected and everything. There we go. That's it now. Now you can see what's in there. So we, we put in that blue sticky mat and then you can see this is the piece of yellow vinyl that I have there that we can iron on to our canvas bag. So I'm gonna shut the lid. Okay. And there's a camera inside there, so that's why it's able to see what we have on the screen. So now we're gonna go and grab the image, and I have Hello Pumpkin. And uh, I'll just do scale, because I'm gonna change it anyways. And so right here, there's a little locking feature. We wanna lock this because when I change the size, I want it to stay, um, in the same format for size. So I'm gonna go right up here because then I don't waste all the space down here. And then also what we need to do is we need to flip this because remember the yellow's on the other side. So when we cut this out, we want it to be able to then iron down correctly. So we have to make this backwards. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and we are going to blade cut Okay, and we're gonna find what this is, which is the PU heat transfer vinyl. So this Creative Space already has some things in there for us to use. Let me move this back over here. Um, also the reason why we use this mat is it's sticky and then that way this stays sticky here. And then we're gonna keep these all at the same measurements they already have there because the tool the creative space already has what we want in there and it looks all good. And then what we are going to do is hit cut. Oh, sorry, not cut. We're going to hit process. And then we're going to hit start. And then we're going to hit the button on the outside of the machine. All right, so let's get started. I pulled this out of our laser and cutter and I'm gonna take my little tool, which will help me to get all the little parts that are still sticking there in between like the letters. And then I'm gonna take a little tote bag, which I got this tote bag from X-Tool. They gave it to me in a kit because they are nice enough to gift me this entire laser and a bunch of stuff to mess around with. So now I'm gonna take my iron and I'm going to heat the PU vinyl and we're gonna place that all over the Hello Pumpkin area until it is permanently adhered to the bag. And then we peel off the plastic and there you go. How cute is that? But we're not done because I'm gonna make this even cuter. So I have this really pretty velvet orange ribbon to make it a little more cute and fallish. And we're just gonna tie a bow at the top and that's it. And we are ready to go to the farmer's market, grab a latte and grab some pumpkins. And my imagination just went wild with doing this. And we're gonna do the next project. Project number two is a fall laser cut wreath. And I, 
cut this wreath three times. So I used three different sizes and I'll link in the bottom um, where I got this SVG file. I got it from Etsy, but I'll link the exact one for you guys so you can use it. And we are gonna make this 3D wreath, which is so cute. And look how amazing this is, how this cut out. It already looks cool like this, just with the wood tone, but we're gonna make it even cooler. So I'm gonna grab some fall color paints and I'm gonna use it very wet, not a solid color, cause I kind of want it to be almost like a stain. And I just went through the whole thing and then added all the different colors. Next, I grabbed my green and same thing, wet it down. I did that on all the leaves and the stem that ran through the entire wreath. And then I moved on to the next two pieces and repeated the process and kind of changed up the colors a little bit. And then when I was done, I am ready to assemble this cute little wreath. And you see how the leaves are going in different directions while I'm layering it? You don't want the leaves to kind of go the same direction. So just be aware of that. And you're just gonna kind of put a teeny bit of glue, the hot glue in strategic areas just to hold it down so it's not gonna come apart. You can always flip it over and add more glue if you wanna make it extra, extra secure, but I found you only need it a little. Next, I grabbed that velvet that I love and grabbed a little piece and then tied a bow at the top and we have a cute little fall wreath that we can decorate in the house. Look how cute that is. I love the way this turned out and it's so pretty and what a cool statement piece. And I love the way the laser cut this. I mean, it really did a great job cutting this. This was my first time using a laser and it was super easy to do all these projects that I'm gonna show you throughout our cool fall video. So now we're gonna move on to project number three, which is a cute sweatshirt that is going to say Wicked on it. To make this cute Halloween sweatshirt, I grabbed some white PU vinyl and we are literally doing the exact same process we did for the Hello Pumpkin cute little tote bag. So you can follow those exact instructions. And we are gonna grab a black sweatshirt. One trick I have is to grab another sweatshirt that already has a graphic on the front and use something to measure. You could use a measuring tape. I just happen to have a nail file right there and I grab that. And then that way I know the height of where the top of my letter should be. So I put that piece down and then kind of smooth it down, grab the iron again and then slowly went around there until it was perfectly heat set. And this PU vinyl is so cool on here. It literally looks like you bought this from a store. And look how cute my Wicked shirt is. I'm ready for Halloween. Project number four is a cute anthropology style frame. We're gonna start by grabbing our wood frame and we're gonna paint each section a different color. So I'm gonna start with the top and it's just gonna be white and I just put that across the top, right at the angle of where each corner is mitered. So whatever style frame you have, that's what you can use. I put a link below to the one that I use. So I just continued along the frame until I got all four sides in four different colors. And then this is the cool part, because this is for Thanksgiving or fall time. Is that a thing, fall time? So I cut out some letters that say thankful with my little birch wood in my cute little laser. I'm calling it a cute laser because I think it's adorable. And we are going to add the word thankful along the side. And I kind of did it at an angle starting at the top, grabbed a little hot glue and just placed them back and forth all the way down until I covered one side with the word thankful. And look how cute that is. That's my sister and I when we were little. So I thought that looked really cute in there. And what a great little project. Project number five are some etched wood coasters. X Tool was nice enough to send me these little wood slices, which are so perfect for coasters. And one of the things is, is that it's so easy to etch on anything. So I made two coasters and look how cute they are. Sweater weather and hello pumpkin season. I love how these turned out. Who's ready to get cozied up and have a pumpkin spice latte?
And here's a recap of all the five projects that we made. Well, that was fun. I hope you guys love today's DIYs and trying new things. I have a link below to all the equipment that I used and the X-Tool M1 that I used. I have another video that's going to be coming out where I'm going to show you how to make some really cool gifts for the holidays. And you guys will love these because I, I had to hold them back from this video. But I'm also going to show you how I use another tool called a rotary tool from them which is a tool that I'm gonna be able to engrave on wine glasses and some other cool things. So I hope you guys love today's DIY and until next time, bye.